Hey, how's it going fellas? My name is Avery and today we're going to be making a window and adding a few other features um, using the X11 library uh, with C++. So first off, if you don't already have it installed, uh, the development kit installed, you're just going to use whatever repo you have for your operating system or I guess because um, usually X11, as far as I know, it's mainly just on Linux. I mean, I guess it's probably on BSD and types of Mac and stuff too. I don't know if this is going to work on Windows or not. Um, I basically just want to install it. It's just called libx11 uh, dev uh, on Ubuntu or Debian. It'll just be sudo apt install uh, libx11 dev and ask you to confirm your password and it'll install it for you. So you just want to make sure that's installed already on your system. And we're gonna jump right into the code. We'll start working on it. It's gonna be it's pretty simple overall. Uh, we're gonna include some files. So we'll include the stuff that we just installed. And that's going to be this right here, along with two more. You'll have the utils file and an OS file. XOS.h. So you, these are the headers for the X11 that we're using. Let me jump right here. And X11. And there we go. And there's no S, it's just XUtil. And I'll also include some extra libraries. It's going to be Studio, or however you want to say that. And it's going to be the lib version of this as well. SCDLib.h, just for some standard functions. Um, and then we're going to want to create some. Uh, some functions basically. Uh, we're gonna have our main function, of course, and we'll just have it as return zero right there. And we're gonna have a few more functions. So, if you guys are familiar with this, or if you guys followed along with the other tutorials in SDL or OpenGL or anything like that, um, we're just gonna have a function for initiating the window and initiating the X11 library and everything that's needed for that. Um, we're gonna have a function for just drawing to the screen and a function for. Uh, Closing the window, and we're also going to have a small function for generating a color because we're going to have some colors, and the color is just going to be an integer basically. Well, actually, it's going to be an unsigned long, but it's going to be a number. And we're going to have some keyboard input, but that we're just going to put into the main function itself just to make it easier. It's going to be very simple. Um, so I'll have an init, and we'll define everything below. We'll have close, we'll have void draw and we'll have unsigned long RGB uh, basically we're just going to pass in like the number 0 to 25 or 255 for the red green and the blue to, uh, just to generate the color that is needed and it's just gonna be like that and up here I'll I'll define some of the variables that we're needing for our window and I'll explain them in just a moment, but it's going to be display. And then we'll have an integer called int or called screen. Then we'll create a window, call that win. And we'll have something here. It's called GC. It's a graphic context. It's kind of what's displayed on the screen. And then we'll create some colors. Unsigned long, black, white, red, blue. And when you're doing this yourself, you can create whatever colors you want. Um. So yeah, basically this is going to be the display. This is the screen. It's like an ID for the window. And that's your window and the graphics context is, or context or content, I believe it's context, is what is being displayed as far as I could tell. Um, then here in our main, we'll also have a loop. Uh, oh, there it is. We'll just put a one right there. We'll just have some codes to exit it. Um, it's not nothing too specific. It's just really basic for now. And we'll in it our program and right here do the void in it and void to close void draw let me just copy this could I just copy all these to begin with but, uh, here the color one's gonna be the simplest one so I'll just go ahead and do that just to begin with uh, it's just some basic math I don't actually know how to explain all of it but if you look into it, it, if you look it up, this is the way to do it. You do B, and then it's going to be G, 
these two right here and an eight. And right here, it's gonna be 16. Uh, so basically, if you pass in the R, G, and the B, it'll convert convert it and just do a long integer. Well, unsigned long. Um, yeah, so that's just the simple way. So that way, when we're in our in it, we can define some of the colors, the, the black and the white and the red and the blue that we're starting. And so here in the init command itself, uh, actually, there's one more thing. We're going to have some sort of coordinates because we're going to draw some lines. Um, so we'll just call it a struct chord and close it right there. And it's basically just going to hold the X and Y coordinates. So it'll just be like that. And we'll just have one called dot. And that's all we need for that. So in init, we'll just do just initialize this. We'll just do dot equals that and Y equals that. Uh, in our display, it's going to be X open display and we're going to do this right here char and zero so that's opening a display for us and we're going to do the same thing for the screen we're setting the screen's id uh, default screen and we'll pass in the display now we got the id from it and for black and white there's actually a function that'll generate the actual number itself you could use the rbg function that we had but we'll just do black pixel and we'll pass in the display and the screen and the same thing for white so the white pixel and display and screen but for the red and blue we'll use our command that we created our function and red will just be the first one is fully red and we'll pass in two zeros and for blue, it'll be the last one, so zero, zero, two, five, five. And of course, you can use this for any type of color out there. You can use it as well for the black and the white one. And now we're going to create our window. So we'll just do win. We'll do x create a simple window. And there's a bunch of different ways to do this. I'll have this linked in the description. It's kind of a documentation. I don't know if it's the official documentation or not, but it breaks down how to do everything. And there's a few other ways of doing it, like this one. It says to create the simple window. There's a few other ways of doing it. Um, so I'll just pass in display. And then we'll pass in, it's going to be default root window. And we'll pass in display right there. And 0, 0, 300, 300. So this 300, 300, that's going to be the width and the height of the window. And pass in 5. And this right here is an unsigned int. And then so most of these are. And we'll pass in the color. So it's going to be white. That's going to be the default background. And it'll be black. So it's going to be the default black background. And that should be the default drawing color, I believe. And now we'll do X. Uh, X set standard properties. And that's basically just going to make it so we can define some more properties to the window. Such as the title of the window. And do display window and we can add in a title and there'll be another title so you can actually pass in two i believe one title is gonna be this title and the other title is gonna be this title up here for the tab we'll pass in none null zero null so these are just some extra flags that aren't gonna be needed at all and we'll do x select input and i believe there's a typo right there but this select input is just for getting the keyboard input, so we can use that for a couple key presses. Uh, when and we'll pass in some flags. This right here is just all the types of keyboard and input that we're needing, along with a mouse input. So it'll be exposure mask, and it's going to be button press mask, and it'll be key press mask. And that should be all that we need for the input. And now we'll create our uh, GC. The graphic context uh, it's going to be um, x create gc and inside of that it's going to be display window zero zero and now we can set the background itself it'll be um like i said it's already set with this up here i believe but this is just for your own knowledge for you can set the background and the foreground and let's do display context and we'll do white and the foreground which not actually displayed or anything but uh 
foreground just for tutorial sake will be display and then it'll be black and we can clear our window real quick and we clear just to initialize it and so this right here is one final thing we have to do map raised um it basically puts your window at the top of i guess like the the queue of things to do um because if you don't have this then your program will probably just like stay frozen not really frozen but i believe it's at the bottom of any sort of queue or anything like that um now we can do the close and we can do the redraw or the draw function here in the close we'll just do we'll just free some stuff free gc and we'll just pass in the gc to freeze it uh, to free it and we'll also destroy uh, destroy the window if i can destroy a window right here and we'll pass in the display and the window and we'll close our display and pass in the display and we can just do exit zero we can do that because we have one of these standard we have the standard library up here so that's we're just closing it um for the now in this program we're gonna be able to close it but i believe usually if you were to force close it with this x button we're not doing anything for that so it'll, it'll close it but it's not going to use this closing thing so it's not going to free up anything and then we're going to have for the clear it's just going to be the same thing that was in the init it's going to be clear window and we'll just pass the display and the window so that right here it's just going to be the same exact thing from up here and now that's every single thing that we need we just need to make our main loop now and in our main loop it's pretty simple uh the inputs itself is actually pretty simple as well and we're also going to make it so you can check the mouse input and draw a little string and draw some text uh so first let's check for the events that have gone on and we'll say the event and basically that's just checking for any keyboard or mouse input or anything like that and we can actually check that so let's do event dot type equals equals expose and it will be event dot expose dot count equals equals zero and now so basically nothing's happened let's uh draw the screen again and we, right here I th this right here is going to be for the keyboard input the event type equals e key press and if x look up string and then we'll pass in some information so we can actually get the string version of the key that was pressed it'll be x key um, text 255 it's going to be the size and right there key and then zero and send that as a zero as it's equal to one and now we can just do if text zero equals equals Q so if we press the Q button it'll say to quit and to quit we'll just do close it's as simple as that and we can also print out whatever button was pressed as we can just do you you pressed the and I'll pass it in key and enter in like there and we can just pass in the key that was pressed now go out of here and now we can keep track of uh, the button the mouse presses to figure out where the mouse is and draw some things based off of that so I'll just do event type equals button press and now let's keep track of where the mouse was and where the mouse is going um, where it last was so then we can create a line and draw that line in between the two spots so let's do int x and that will be event dot x button dot x and we'll do y equals event dot y button uh now it's gonna be x button x button dot y and from here we can set the drawing color so it's gonna be the same thing as the foreground uh, there it is earlier we, were, we had set that to black and we'll just pass it in display gc and we'll draw a red line and now to draw a line it's as simple as this it'll be just draw a line and we'll pass in some information so let's play window gc and now we're going to pass in the first coordinate and then the second coordinate so the first coordinate is just going to be this 
initial one will be dot x and then dot y and then it's going to be this new x and this new y right here and that's basically going to be it that's going to be the original one which as we initialize it 100 100 and wherever the mouse was last clicked and then we can change the foreground again and we can draw some text where the mouse is let's display uh, display GC and we can pass in the blue that we had created and we'll copy the string so we can put a string into this right here text and we'll just say hello world and then we're just going to draw that it's going to be pretty simple uh, the draw that we'll just do x draw string And we'll just do display window GC and we'll pass in the coordinates and then we'll pass in the text and then we'll pass in the length of it and for that we'll just pass in the text as well. And now we just want to update the dot coordinate so it'll just be that and then dot y equals y. Uh, it's as simple as that. So basically you can run the code just to double check for any sort of errors. We have our display, the screen, the window, and the context we're drawing it. We have our colors and we have a coordinate. It loops through, it checks for events. Uh, if it needs to redraw the screen or redraw it, it checks for any sort of input. If you click Q, it'll close it. It'll also tell you all the buttons you pressed. If you clicked on your mouse, it'll save where you clicked it. It'll draw a line from where you last clicked it and also write out hello world. And here's the initializations. We initialize some colors. And we created our display. We passed in some properties for the title, the width and the height. And we passed in information so we can get the input for the keyboard and whatnot. And we also pass in the background color. And right here is just for closing it, for drawing the screen, and for generating our color. So let's go ahead in here and try it out. So I'll just use G. It's x11.cpp. And it'll be libx11. Okay. So here we have some errors. Looks like it's probably just a typo. So let's look at 60 first off. Um, properties. So properties. Actually here, let's look at the top so then I can fix up anything. And then maybe that might fix the other problems. So event was not declared. So yeah, so we're gonna have to declare some things up here. It'll be x event. And it'll be event. As long as key sim. And right here it'll be a key. This is just for the letter that's being pressed. And let's do char, text, and 255. And that's going to be the size of it. Uh, that's the same size that we had sent in right here. Uh, and that's basically it. We can double check again to see what else there might be. Uh, print. It's going to need to be printf. And I guess that we're still an error in that one. 63. Okay. X. Set standard properties. Alrighty, and let's see if this just needs to be that right there. There it is. Now let's run it. And here's our window. You can click on it, and there it is. So actually, I'd flipped this right here is the background. That's the foreground. Uh, I think I'd said that wrong. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we have our red line that we're drawing, and then we also have our blue text. Uh, it's very simple. Now that you've created your window. Um, there's a lot more you can do with it. When I stretched it, it deleted everything. But uh, yeah, these are just the basic steps. I showed you how to change some colors, how to draw onto it with lines, and how to write onto it. And you can check in the description for this website right here. It has some more function on how to use more stuff. And I can quickly go ahead and actually show a few more functions for drawing things. It's just going to be one moment. And uh, actually. Let me make sure I'm in the right. Okay, here's some more shapes. So right in here, I can look at, let's see what's in here. I don't believe this one's it. It's gonna be, okay. And like what I said, the numbers are gonna be generated uh, to a longer number. And this is kind of what they look like. So these ones right here are just predefined. But uh, for drawing, we can just do, let's see if I had a rectangle in here. No, there's gonna be rect maybe. 
No, still not. Uh, here, let me see where I had it. Okay, so here's some more options. You can do X fill rectangle, you pass in display, the window, and then the context at GC. And then you pass in the X and Y, that's for the top left of the rectangle, and then the width and the height. So it's fill rectangle, or you can, I believe you can just do X uh, rectangle as well. There's draw line. Uh, there's a couple different options. Uh, let's see if we see any more. But um, I mean, that's it's basically how it is. There's just some functions for drawing everything. And it's all going to be in here. You can find everything in here. You can Google stuff too as well. It's all very easy. If you guys had any questions about this, just let me know. And before the video ends, I just wanted to mention one last thing. Or two more things, actually. Here, I'll go here and look at my channel. So I'm trying to work on more videos lately. And I'm trying to think of some ideas, brainstorm on them. Uh, so you guys can check out the channel and look at the other new, new videos that are out. But I put out some polls so you guys can go and check out. Uh, the polls are just me talking about new videos I'm going to be working on. So you guys might be interested in any of these. You guys can vote on what you guys think about it. And the last thing that I want to mention, I've mentioned it two or three times already. This is a website that me and my friend are working on. It's a gaming tournament website where basically you sign up. And right now it's in beta. So everything here on this website is going to be free. But you sign up, you get chips on the website or credits. And you can join tournaments. You can start tournaments. You can play with your friends. You can play with random people. Uh, it's all new in beta. There's not that many users out there right now, but slowly there's going to be added more people. Eventually, it's going to be paid for. So eventually, you know, you pay to enter a tournament. If you win the tournament, you get money out of it. But for right now, it's all going to be free, and we're actually we're working on a raffle system where you can sign up, you can invite friends, you get raffle tickets, and you can join in a raffle to win some actual prizes, some game, and some uh, in-game currency and whatnot. Uh, that's going to be outside the website, some actual prizes. And that's going to be for the beta users. There's going to be no money involved at all. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check it out. And hope you guys are having a great day and see you guys again next time. Bye.